Hey guys, Andy Hake here with Insulwise in Pittsburgh. And what we're gonna talk about here real quick are some attic ventilation basics. A lot of customers have questions about attic and roof ventilation, and we also find that roofers often, unfortunately, don't understand the basics that well either. In this attic, when we got here, the first thing that you see is a power fan. And the goal of the power fan is to generally cool the attic down during the summertime when it gets hot. Now, the only way that that works is if you have enough intake ventilation around the perimeter of the roof down low so that when this fan turns on, it pulls air up from down low in the attic and then exhausts it out through the top. But in this situation, the roofer has not installed any intake ventilation. Now, just so you know what we're talking about, here are a few pictures of various intake vents. This is a soffit vent, which is installed under a roof overhang. This is a newer style under shingle intake vent. And lastly, these are slant back vents, which can also be used as a source of intake ventilation. Now back to our video. And even worse, they've installed a ridge vent here. So when this fan turns on, it's not going to be pulling air up from the perimeter it's simply going to be pulling it from the ridge vent, which is already up high. So this attic is going to have virtually uh, no cooling effect whatsoever during the summer. The other thing that could happen is if there's not enough makeup air for this power fan, this power fan could actually depressurize the attic that we're in when it's on and pull interior air up from the house, which would mean that when this thing is running on a hot summer day, you are cooling your attic with your home's air conditioner, which is, uh, needless to say, not what you want to do. So at Inselwise, we are much bigger fans of passive roof ventilation systems. That means you're gonna have intake vents installed down low at the edge of the roof, combined with exhaust vents up high by the ridge. You don't need a, a powered fan to do that. They typically work very well on their own, and you don't have to worry about a fan running up power bills or depressurizing your attic at the same time. So if you found this video helpful, please click the like and subscribe button. And if you live in the Pittsburgh area and you'd like to have Inselwise come out to look at your house, please give us a call. Thanks for your time. Lastly, an important thing that I almost left out is that if your attic has been properly air sealed and insulated to code with cellulose insulation, along with it being properly ventilated, you should have no need to install a power roof fan at all. The reason is that an effective insulation layer will block nearly all of the heat radiating down from the attic, allowing your home to stay cooler on even the hottest days.